Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yadi and this is Yadi Angel Art. Today, we'll be looking at a set of Mandolama watercolors. They are the tubed watercolors, so I'm really excited to get into it. So let's get started. with the swatches uh, we're still gonna do some some swatches though because these are printed on so it's gonna look different once we put it on actual paper oh, whoops <laughs> okay so it looks like we got a plastic palette, three paint brushes, one round number four, a flat number four, and a flat number ten. And we also got a sketch pencil, sharpener, and eraser, and twelve, yeah, twelve paint tubes. Alright, let's get some swatching done. So the first thing I notice is as I'm trying to open the red paint, uh, it came with both the little tab to peel off the seal, and it came with the pokey stab thing on the, <laughs> on the lid. So I tried to peel off the tab, and it didn't get everything out, so I ended up having to like stab it with the pokey thing. So I'm glad they kind of gave us that second option. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the swatches. My first impression, seeing how these colors react with the water, was pretty pleasantly surprised. They seem very vibrant and colorful, and I'm pretty excited about the blues and some of the reddish browns. They look really nice. The one color I'm not a huge fan of was the green, but I figured I can just mix it with other colors to get a better hue. I also tried out the pencil and eraser and they both seem to work fine, you know, just a regular pencil and eraser. I personally prefer mechanical pencils and kneaded erasers, but I figured I'd give these a shot for you guys in this video. So here is my little swatch test and some images that I messed around with. I was too impatient to wait for all of it to fully dry <laughs> so that glob there on the bottom is still pretty wet but you can get like the gist of how everything works together i was really excited to get started <laughs> so as usual i started out my sketch on procreate i have noticed that i can never really get my thoughts together when i try to sketch on paper which is a little funny to me since I do a lot of my work traditionally, especially for you guys on YouTube. But yeah, something about sketching digitally makes me more comfortable, at least enough so to get actual finished sketches through for complete pieces. Last week I drew these two cute witches and I had so much fun drawing them out that I decided to bring them back for this video. As I put these first few colors down. Well, as I try to blend them out, I notice that the pencil underneath smudged horrifically. <laughs> so I went and grabbed my kneaded eraser and kind of lightened the sketch out a little bit. I tried out this different technique for this painting. I was really excited to try it out finally. It, I basically tried to put down the shadows and the highlights before painting everything else. And one really cool thing about watercolors is because they're so see-through, you can layer them. So if you put down these shadows first, they should come through 
the layers so long as you don't layer too many dark colors right there. So yeah, this is also pretty rare for me to like think about lighting and shadows. So I was really happy with myself for like remembering to actually put that stuff down first. This week I really wanted to focus on telling a story with detail. So that's kind of what I tried to do in the background there and it was really fun. It's something completely different than what I normally do. I honestly don't even ever focus on backgrounds, though it was a little hard sometimes, but after pushing through, I think I ended up having a lot of fun kind of um, constructing this world. This brush is amazing. It's uh, round number four, I think. It's the smallest brush that came in this set and I absolutely love it. I did not expect to like these brushes as much as I do, but it carries a bunch of water and it takes for a really long time because of that. It almost carries too much water. Um, so I had to like learn how to work with that. But it also, like I used it to pretty much paint this whole wall. Just, just all of it. And I thought like, no way this brush could get me through this whole background wall. It's so tiny, but no. Oh, because it can hold like so much water and so much color. It like paints perfectly for these large areas. And then because it's like so, like the, the tip is so pointy and cute and tiny. Oh, can you can't even see it, it's like blurry. <laughs> um, so because that point is so tiny, I can get in all these tiny extra crevices and that's just perfect for this like level of detail that I'm working with here and I can't say enough about this freaking brush man. I can't I haven't even touched uh, <laughs> the really large flat brush this whole time been painting. I haven't even touched it and I thought I would need it for the larger areas but nope. It's like super dry. I used it like once the other day to practice with so love this brush very very good highly recommend <laughs> one thing i really liked about these paints was how easily they picked back up that could be a good thing and a bad thing but if it can easily be reactivated you can use that to clean up mistakes the bad thing about that is that if you already put down a layer of something and you're trying to work with it, you might accidentally reactivate it and pick the color back up. I'd still say it's a good thing though, because I, I very much enjoyed being able to like fix my mistakes very easily. So my final thoughts on this watercolor set, I was pleasantly surprised. The paints were really good, they mixed really well. And I've had paints before that uh, didn't like mix properly with the water. So when I would try to paint with them, it would just like, you could see the like little specks of paint on the paper. And I didn't have that at all with these. So I was really impressed with that. And the colors were beautiful. Like I mentioned before, they were very vibrant. And I really like the colors that I blended out of them. And like we talked before too, they picked up very easily, which is really great for mistakes. I, <laughs> you may have picked up on this, but I love the way those brushes worked, the way they put uh, soaked up the paint, and that one little brush really carried this whole painting for me. <laughs> A few things I didn't really like were the plastic palette. I mean, it's understandable because it, it is a cheaper set of watercolors. But so I didn't like the plastic palette. There was a lot of beading and it made it hard to control how much paint and water the brush was picking up. So I had to dry it a whole bunch extra. I didn't like that. And then also I would have preferred it if the palette gave me a little more space. I got 12 paint tubes in this pack and only six spaces to really dedicate to a color. And I made it work, you know, I put the other colors in the larger areas, but I would have preferred to save that space, the larger areas for just mixing and not sharing it with like the other colors. So I would have preferred that. I still, like you can still make it work. It's not a huge deal. Overall, it was
was a really great set. I would definitely recommend this for beginners or anyone on a budget that just wants like almost everything you would need to get started. <laughs> And I will definitely be using this set again. It's definitely one of my top favorite watercolor sets. So here's the finished piece. What do you guys think? I tried a lot of new things with it and I'm really excited that I'm trying out these different things. I do wish that the shading that I had done with the purple. It, it kind of showed up in some places and it didn't in others. I think I wish that that purple was a little bit darker. It was, it feels very light in some places, but overall I'm super happy with it. I love that it tells a story and I'm having so much fun with these girls lately. Maybe I'll draw them again next time. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you had fun with me, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.